Everything is in order, Majesty. The creature is in peak condition for the procedure. Good. Talk me through. Yes. Majesty, I can no longer keep silent. How unlike you. Sit, Father. I know your feelings. You are contemplating the greatest mortal sin. This is not about sin. It's about science. Science is not absolute, Majesty. He who searches the hearts of men will know the mind of the spirit. Thank you for your nice line of scripture, but unless you talk to God, I don't believe you know his will. Perhaps not, but I do know that immortality is the province of God alone. Then who placed the mermaid in the sea for us to capture? Who called upon me to carry out his vision of a supreme front? Do not confuse divine right and divine guidance. Then let him decide matters. Command me, O oh Heavenly Father. Strike me down here now if I am about to commit a mortal sin. Now, Father, if my communion with the creature gives me eternal life, will be God's will. Carry on. One barracuda is gruesome enough. Ten will curdle your toes. We hit a pod of 300 big ones. Oh, meaner than a slam boon of drunken musketeers. <laughs> <laughs> they were ramming the hull. Bang! Forcing us onto the rocks. And just as they were about to tear through the planks. Oh, how frightening. Now you'll be telling us you tore them apart with your bare teeth. <laughs> we turned sail and beat them with the wind. The easy way out. I think it's the clever way out. A man who fails to kill his prey is either a weakling or a coward. And a man who sees only two choices is a fool. You're a worthless commoner. And you merely behave like one. That's enough. Calm. Oh. Majesty. Forgive me, Majesty. It was all my fault. Serve the sixth course. Play on. <laughs>